What's up, everybody? It's me, Bryson Booker. Welcome to today's Friday's video on BBTV Primetime. Uh, before I get into this, this review, I just want to give a shout out to all my viewers out there, especially from my school in Woodshop. You know who I'm talking about. Guys, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. And if there's any other reviews that you guys request while we're at school, let me know. Anyway, um, I got some speakers for to do a review on, and these guys at my school, they like speakers, they like music, they like technology, so this review is for you. Today I have some old uh, 1999, around 1999-ish, 2002, Cambridge Soundworks, aka Creative, computer speakers. Uh, let me get some, hold on, so let me find some royalty-free music here, just a second, okay, here they are, um, I have one because the other one is like that, <laughs> and a uh, funny story about this, uh, you ever have one of those parties where uh, you're listening to music and well, you're having a really, really, really good time, and so I don't drink, just let you know, but I was being silly, me and a couple of friends, so we were having fun up here, up here in the game room, well, it's not really a game room anymore, I shut the game room down about a year ago, but when it was still here, we were having fun, too much fun, and while we were listening to music, we decided to trash this speaker. Don't ask me why, it just happened. I still don't know how this one survived. We just put a dent in it. But this one, the whole speaker is completely shot out of it. So that doesn't work anymore. But this one surprisingly does, which is... I'm actually surprised I can actually still do a review on this system. Anyway, this was released by Cambridge Soundworks, a.k.a. Creative engineering creative loudspeakers they were basically the maker of the Cambridge Soundworks line I also have some more Cambridge Soundworks speakers that I'm gonna do a review on so stick around for that they're the big brother to these little guys but as far as speakers go Cambridge Soundworks was kinda like your entry-level cheapo kinda system they were sent with uh, gateway computers and so, you, everybody who's a 90s nostalgic person knows the relationship with Gateway and the Gateway 2000, all those other G Gateway home PCs. Us 90s nostalgic and audio people, we already know that Gateway had a deal with Creative and Boston Acoustics, and I think they had another deal with Harvard and Packard. Hacklid and Packer, whatever, the, the printer company. And so, uh, Gateway would ship these speakers out with their computers, basically. Now, the Boston Acoustic speaker system, by the way, did a review on that. Check that out, Boston Acoustics BA635 speaker system review. Search that up in my videos if you want to watch it. Uh, the Boston Acoustic speaker systems were generally sent out with the, with the premium compu computers, like... Gateway 2000, other higher gateway computer models. Um, Altic Lansing was also sent with the premium gateway computer models. These speakers and their big brother were basically sent out with the normal gateway computer models, along with the printer and a monitor, and basically that there's your whole computer setup. So these were kind of the... I wouldn't say, they was kind of the mid to low level. They weren't premium. They were not premium. Uh, they weren't sent out with the premium uh, computers. However, they were sent out with the small uh, compact computers. This is also available in black with a gray grill, but of course these are the white ones. On the side, there's a headphone jack. On the front, there's nothing much but a power button and a volume control. Now, these plugs are basically wired into the right speaker. 
So, if this speaker happens to break, there's basically no way of replacing it. Because you can't, you can, if you pull these out, you're done. There's no, there's no, you can't buy another cord or nothing. Like, with other speakers, like, for example, the Eltic Lansing speakers or the Boston Acoustics speakers, where you can just easily replace any component or speaker or wire. These, you can't do that. When you break them, they're done. I'm saying, but... And you gotta ha actually do a lot to break these things. I mean, if I drop it on the floor, I literally just dropped it on the floor. I bet you it's still gonna work too, because this is a hard shell, pretty nice shell. It's it does feel like plastic, but it's good plastic. It's not that cheap plastic made from Chinese speakers. The grill is, once again, pretty strong because all me and my friends managed to do was to put a dent in this. But to actually pop it off, it took some effort. And for it to get like this, guys, let me tell you, it took some effort. And it's like the outside casing is still good. It's not even damaged. It takes some real major effort to get into this speaker. Let me tell you that much. So... Here's your audio jack to go into your computer, of course, our MP3, our DVD player, our radio, our... You get the whole spiel. This is the plug for it. I'm gonna plug, I'm gonna plug that in, and I'll let you hear them, how they sound. Hopefully my mic will pick this up. Well, turned on. <laughs> All right, now let's see if we can play a song. This is royalty-free YouTube, so don't sue me. This is the computer sample music. Pretty nice highs. Let's turn it up. Well, that's it. And my computer was at max volume, if you're wondering. That speaker was at max volume, and to be honest with you, it wasn't that bad. It didn't do that bad at all. The bass on here is pretty plentiful, especially when you have the two speakers, but of course I only have the one. It's plentiful. It's punchy. It's not going to be overwhelming like you get from bigger computer speakers because obviously look at the size of it. But it's a nice enough size where you get nice enough bass. I mean, for music like hip-hop it's it's a pretty good one for music like that by an unknown artist who i really don't know that's why it's royalty free uh it was pretty good the highs it's it's a mid-range centered speaker so mid-range it's gonna absolutely sound wonderful on this speaker high range is in there but it's kind of buried under the mid-range slightly um it's but it's there you can hear a, a decent amount of highs from this speaker when you turn it up, you can only get just a pinch of distortion. Just a pinch. And it's only on some songs, some hyper songs, like what you just heard. On classical music, on soft music, you can turn this thing all the way up. It won't distort. And it's the same, basically the same principle with its bigger brother, which I will do a review on next, just so you know. Uh, the, it's bigger brother actually gets a little more distorted, but it depends on the music that you play on this speaker. If you're going to be playing pop music, hip hop music, it, depending on up tempo or upbeat or how much bass or how much frequencies are in the music, that's going to affect the sound of the speaker. So if we're playing like metal, it's probably most likely going to get distorted. If we're, if we're playing, playing something like Britney Spears, Baby One More Time, by the way, in that era, these speakers came out, so of course they would sound pretty good. But it, it depends on the music, generally. It depends what you want to hear on it. 
as far as overall quality, I would give these a, a 9 out of 10. Really, because you can bang these up, I, and you guys know I just I just threw it on the floor. It still works. It, it's amazing. If I were to do that with one of those other cheap little speakers, it wouldn't have worked at all. Guarantee it would not work. So that's the great thing about this speaker. I love it. I'm going to drop it on the floor again. Pick it up. And now I'll give you one more little sound demo. Oh, hold on. Just gotta plug it in. That's amazing. Oh, good. Still works. This has been the Cambridge Creative Soundworks. Very sturdy. Very. It sounds very good. Computer speaker system by Creative Cambridge Soundworks. 1999, 2002. Whenever these were sent out with gateway computers it's it's during that time period though uh thanks for watching and can't break these if you tried unless you try very very hard <laughs>